Hi, my name is Ian Fursa, and welcome to the VP Toolkit workflow series for Unreal Engine 4.27. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate your Vive system using Steam VR and a room setup. After that, we're going to run OpenVR and set up the VRPN plugin inside of Unreal Engine and attach that to our camera so that we are able to use it for in-camera VFX and end display. All right, let's get started. Uh, so for a room setup, I'm going to be using a controller. It's a version two controller. And then for uh, my actual calibration of my mesh placement and my lens office set, I'll be referring to this as the calibration tracker. This is a, a version two uh, Vive tracker. And then actually on my camera, I'm going to be using a version three Vive tracker. Now, some basic information that people generally wonder when they're setting something up like this. Each tracker and each controller need to have a, a dongle. When you buy a headset that comes with two controllers, that headset has two dongles built into it. So by buying that headset and those two controllers, you're really getting a headset two controllers and two dongles. Now, if you turn off one of those controllers and you connect a tracker to it, you won't need a dongle plugged in for the tracker as long as you bind it. So for this setup, I actually only have two dongles plugged in, even though I have more of them. But what I do is I just switch out which uh, tracker I'm using by turning one off and then binding another one to that dongle. But if you buy a controller to be able to do this, make sure that you're buying an extra dongle or you're able to swap it out with one that you already have uh, for a tracker. So I'm going to turn on my camera tracker and my controller. And the first thing we're gonna do is a room setup. So with this system that I'm gonna show you here, room setups are very important because this is where we're going to calibrate our tracking system. So I have a mark on the ground behind me that I've determined is my zero point of my tracking. It's my zero point of my room. And this is how we're going to match physical space and, and virtual space together by giving it the same zero point. So we're just going to go through the process here. So first, you're going to want to determine where your forward axis is. And so we're going to put the controller on the ground and then calibrate the floor. I generally step away from the controller once I put it on the ground to make sure that I'm not blocking it from any of the base stations. So we'll calibrate floor. Next. So next you're going to create some boundaries. I always enable the advanced mode and this makes it so you can just create a box by hitting the trigger and it doesn't continuously do it. So I'm going to uh, make an outline of my room. And you'll see when we go next here, and then we're gonna wanna edit this. So where do we put it? Now, this is when we actually determine where our zero is. So what I like to do is I put the controller down onto my zero point and I actually have two marks that line up right here and then I know that the forward axis here that I've lined up and then marked is going to be correct. So you want to get that as straight as possible. So once we have that placed on the ground as, as straightforward as possible, we're going to want to shrink this box down So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to line this up with my wall first. Now, if you're on an LED wall stage and you've used the LED wall to create this forward line, it should be perfectly parallel with uh, your entire stage. So now I can bring this back here and place this right in the center of this. And if you're not using the LED wall as a reference, then 
you can just use your controller as a reference and still get it fairly accurate. So, and then we hit next and we are done the room setup. So now we're gonna run the VR, VRPN. In this video, there'll be a link to be able to download this open VPRN, uh, but it is, I did not make this. Uh, it was made a while ago. I'm just passing it along. Uh, so once you've downloaded the open VR VPRN, you should be able to open it and just double click it and tell it to run. Now, if this doesn't run, you may have to install Visual Studio. And when you do that, make sure that you, you get the game development packages along with it uh, because those are needed to be able to run this. Once this starts running, we have two different addresses on it. One is going to be the tracker and one is the controller. Now, I'm actually going to turn off my controller and then turn on my calibration tracker. And this is just because I don't have enough dongles plugged in for them all to run at one time. So once you once both of your trackers are running, uh, we can see that they those addresses are showing up uh, both as trackers in our VRPN. So now we're going to move over to Unreal Engine and actually set these up uh, to come into Unreal. So if you've been following along, you should be here. In the process, you have already ran the uh, enabled and ran the toolkit uh, panels. Uh, if you haven't, then maybe go back and watch that video because some of this may make sense, some of it may not make sense. Uh, but if you're also just here to get the Vive VRPN and do whatever you want with it, that's fine. So first, you want to make sure that in plugins you have the live link vrpn uh, enabled and then so what i like to do first is go to my vrpn and copy the address okay so i'm going to make a live link vrpn source i'm going to put the ip address of this machine and so that uh what it will do is every time this fires up in end display, it will look on this machine for that VRPN. And then I know that it's going to be on port 3884. Uh, so just add 3884 after that. And then the address that I had copied from the VRPN, I'm going to paste in here. And you may have to do some tinkering, uh, just play around with this, maybe do it a couple times to figure out which... Uh, tracker is which address. I know that this is going to be my camera tracker. So I'm going to add subject name camera tracker, which you can determine, you can make it whatever you'd like. Uh, and then I'm going to do type tracker. And I'm going to hit add. And then you can see that this shows up here. So then I'm going to go back to my VRPN and I'm going to get the other address. And I'm going to do repeat the same exact thing. And then I'm going to name this calibration tracker. And then I'm going to set the type to be tracker. I'm going to add that. And you'll see now we have the calibration tracker and we have the camera tracker. So the first thing we want to do with this is make sure that we save this as a preset. Uh, so we're going to go save as preset. And then I'm actually going to come down to the VP toolkit concept kit content. And then there's an area for live link presets. And I'm going to name this Vive VRPN. And then once I've done that, now I want to go up to my project settings. And I want to go to plugins. And I want to go to live link. And then now I want to set that live link preset to be the default live link preset of this project. So when end display fires up or we fire up the editor, uh, that will now that will now be the default live link preset that comes on as soon as you open up the project. So we're actually going to need to add a preprocessor to this uh, because the way that the VRPN accesses come in, they are not going to be the same as what Unreal Engine wants to use. Uh, so we just need to 
do a quick transform and I'll tell you what to put in here to make it correct for your Steam VR live, live setup. So just click on the live link input and then over here you'll see preprocessors and then just click on that and then we're going to select transform axis switch and then we'll have to click down a little bit here and we're going to set this to be negative Z X and Y and then now we're going to go into our other camera tracker and we're going to do the same exact thing and we're going to set this to be negative Z X and Y and then now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save over that preset so now that we don't we don't lose that information uh, we make sure that every time we load this preset it has those axes. so now that you have the live link input into your unreal engine uh, we have to set it up so that it controls our frustum camera so with the vp toolkit concept kit plugin this is very easy uh, you just click right here this is the tracking widget and uh, select which track you'd like to use i will set the camera tracker and then activate and now you have you should have tracking and as long as you've gone through the steps uh, all of the axes will be correct now, if you don't want to use the VP Toolkit uh, Concept Kit plugin, you can go into your Frustum camera and add a Live Link component. Or a Live Link controller component. And then set that to be uh, whatever input you want. And that will, that will set that up. If you're following along with this series, and you want to do the calibration uh, aspect of it, uh, you'll need to use the, the plugin. So once we confirmed it works in editor, we're gonna, we created a session to log into, and then we are going to open up our switchboard and then fire up and display. Make sure it works in editor. and you should have tracking. If you've enjoyed this video and you would like to see more content, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.